Hello, welcome to another module in this massive open online course. Uh, so, we are looking at information theory, we have looked at Shannon's landmark result that is the channel coding theorem all right, which is basically gives a result for the fundamental rate at which the information can be transmitted across a channel all right. Uh, in this module, let us start looking at a different uh, concept and that is of differential intro. Okay. So, we want to start looking at a new concept. the concept of differential the concept of differential entropy okay and uh, this differential entropy all right so far we have seen basically if you look at this so far we have seen discrete sources with a discrete alphabet so so far with discrete alphabet, there is discrete sources. Okay. But what about a continuous source that is a source source x, okay. this is the source x okay. and uh, this produces a continuous signal okay the source x produces a continuous signal that is a source which produces a continuous signal which can take values, which can take continuous values, right? We can take values from a continuum, okay? That is take values, take a continuous set. take values from a continuous set for instance 0 to infinity. Okay. We can have a continuous signal which can take values so, uh, as against previous sources which are discrete in nature. All right, this alphabet, the set, the source alphabet is discrete consists of a finite number of symbols. Okay. Now, as against that one can also consider a source which generates continuous signals, continuous or discrete continuous signals which can take values uh, which can take val uh, values from a continuous set okay which can take uh, a continuous set of values okay so naturally the probability distribution is characterized by a probability density function for such sources okay so basically we are talking about the entropy the probability distribution output belongs to a continuous set of values So, naturally the output belongs to a continuous set and characterized characterized by a uh, it can take uh, it can take a continuous set of values and this is characterized by a the distribution is characterized by output distribution is characterized by a
So, far we have seen a probability mass function, now we are going to because the output can take from a continuous set of values, this is characterized by a probability distribution, probability density function. So, this is the PDF, probability density function or you can say this is the output PDF of source x. For instance, f of x that is output PDF, PDF of the output generated by the source. Uh, is a probability density function. For instance, one very pro, one very popular or one of the most commonly occurring random variables right, to characterize the output of this continuous such continuous source is the Gaussian probability density function. Okay. So, the source probability density function f of x of x can be Gaussian and from the fundamental knowledge of the fundamental course on probability, we know that Gaussian can be represented as for instance uh, mean mu having Gaussian. So, this shows a Gaussian random variable this is the mean sigma square is the variance okay. and the Gaussian probability density function looks as follows. Peak at the mean, let us say the mean is non-zero. Okay. So, okay, this is your f x of x, this is your x, the peak is at the mean mu the spread of the Gaussian is proportional to its variance sigma square and the probability density function is 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma square e raise to minus x minus mu whole square by 2 sigma square. This is the probability PDF of the Gaussian correct. You already know this. or you can have an exponential source, the output PDF is exponential correct. So, this can be something like, okay. so this is the exponential PDF f of x, x equals 1 over lambda e power minus x over lambda or x greater than or equal to 0, 0 for x less than so, this is your exponential exponential random variable. Okay. So, the source alphabet is continuous and has an exponential probability density function. Okay. So, the output is continuous, takes values from a continuous set. Okay. It is characterized by a probability density function. Now, how do we define the differential entropy for such a source? The differential entropy, the average information, the differential entropy, let us not say average information uh, for a particular reason. So, the differential entropy, so we are going to first, let me first define the differential entropy and we are going to see something unique about this. the differential entropy of such a source the differential entropy is defined as h of x equals minus infinity to infinity f x of x log 2 to the base 1 over f x of x d x. Okay. So, this is the difference, this is termed as differential entropy and remember this is the definition of differential entropy. So, let me just draw
this is the differential entropy for source with output PDF. And note that as against the entropy of a discrete source, this is represented using small h. Okay. Represented using h. Okay. So, this is something that you can note okay. as against the entropy of a of a source with a discrete alphabet. Okay. So, this is the differential entropy and from this you can see that it is very similar to the definition of the entropy where we replace the probabilities correct in the log we have replaced the probabilities right probabilities by the probability density function all right and the summation right the discrete sum has been approximated has been replaced by the integral which you can think of as evaluating a continuous summation. Okay. So, there are two major changes one is not two major changes. So, it is similar except for the probabilities replaced by P D F two the discrete sum has been replaced by the discrete sum has been replaced by the integral. Okay. Let us look at an example for this to understand this better. Let us look at an example for instance let us look at an example where I have a source where I have a source where I okay so this is my source okay source generating the symbols x and the source x the pdf is uniform in 0 to a this denotes a uniform probability density function And the uniform probability density function, remember a uniform probability density function over the range has a flat probability density function. If you look at the uniform probability density function, for instance, this is a, this is 1 over a. So, this is uniform. So, the uniform probability density function is basically given as 1 over in 0 to a is 1 over a for 0 less than equal to x less than equal to a and 0 otherwise. Okay. So, this is the uh, probability density, this is the uniform probability density function in 0 to a, it is 1 over a in 0 to a and a 0 otherwise. And you can see this satisfies the prob uh, all the properties of the probability density function because it is uh, non-negative and also the area under the probability density function is 1. Okay. And now, the entropy of a source whose output is basically uh, basically follows a uniform has the uniform PDF all right in 0 to a the source output is characterized by a uniform probability density function. The differential entropy that is h of x for such a source is given as well integral 0 to a. f of x that is 1 over a 
log to the base 2 1 over f of x a d x this is a constant. So, 1 over a log a to the base 2 will come out 0 to a d x which is 1 over a times a this integral is a times a times log a to the base 2 which is log a to the base 2. So, we have evaluated the differential, the differential entropy of a simple source corresponding to the uniform probability density function that is f of x of x. Now, you will observe something interesting that is we have evaluated the differential entropy which was relatively straightforward, but if you look at this differential entropy you will notice uh, that if a is less than 0 the differential entropy is negative which is something that is very interesting which did not happen with entropy. Remember the entropy was always non-negative that is 0 or greater than or equal it is greater than or equal to 0. However, the differential entropy can be negative and this is a very important difference. Okay. So, you can see that h of x can be negative. For instance, for a less than 1 log a to the base 2 is basically less than 0. This implies h x can be negative. Therefore, unlike entropy, Therefore, unlike entropy, the differential entropy and this is an important property of the differential entropy. Unlike negative, unlike entropy, the differential entropy can be negative. Unlike the entropy, this can be negative. So, this is an important difference one has to keep in mind while dealing with the differential entropy. That is the entropy of entropy definition for sources which can uh, for sources with source alphabet uh, with source alphabet uh, that can take uh, source alphabet that is not discrete that can take a continuous set of values. Okay. So, the corresponding definition is differential entropy and uh, the important thing to realize is that this quantity can be negative unlike entropy. Okay. We will stop uh, with this and we will look at other aspects in the subsequent modules.